happy race week. <laughs> we are in Paris at the hotel that we've been staying at for the past eight days for the test event. And how'd, uh, how'd your test event go? It was a test event, so looking forward to being here next year, hopefully, and being better because there's a lot of room for improvement. So last time we checked in with you uh, on the race week series, you were in Milwaukee. Have you rode your TT bike since then? Not the one I'm going to race, no. I think I rode a TT bike once, so that's <laughs> great. But I, and I am bringing, and I'm not going to see my TT bike until Wednesday. Um, this is my road bike, but I am bringing that now. I wasn't going to bring it because of airline issues, so, um, but I'm not going to bring it. So if you see me out on a road bike tomorrow on the course, that's how I'm going to ride the course the first time. So like hoping to just descend the times throughout the week. You've, uh, you've raced Daniela Reef twice now. Oh God. And you came out on top both times. Are you looking forward to racing her again? I am. She crushed it in Roth. So I'm excited to seeing like Daniela as Daniela. Um, and it's going to be an interesting course because there aren't any out and backs. So like, I don't know, like, I won't know where we are. So like, I could gap her, she could gap me, and I don't know what way the, we don't know what way the gaps are going. But they're also like some very good women, because you know, I don't think Laura Phillip hasn't been defeated in a 70.3 in like two or three years, maybe longer, so don't count her out. <laughs> and a lot of other women. Paula, uh, yeah, I won't name women, because now you're gonna just, <laughs> that's dangerous. <laughs> are you, uh, are you gonna be recovered from uh, Paris race a race 70.3 Worlds? Well, I think, Christian, show, well, I'm not Christian, but Christian showed that it was actually a really good primer. So <laughs> hopefully I'll be like more ready now. I'm supposed to say, we'll see. Oh, yes, we'll see. Good morning, Morgan. I want a picture. Make sure you get the closet. <laughs> Got it. We're all two within two Morgan, two. who's your pick to win 70.3 Worlds for the woman? Uh. Taylor. Who would you say if I wasn't here? I don't know anyone else. I don't pay attention to that uh, B-level sport. This is Morgan Pearson. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, he, but said, he said B-level sport. I said I don't know anyone else. I don't pay attention to that B-level sport. <laughs> And we're back, we're back. It's race week once again. Uh, this time around, heading to uh, Finland, Lati, Helsinki. Uh, now flying to Helsinki. Um, Why are you in Paris again? Now we're back in Paris. I just had to pick up and pack down my road bike from the Friday's race. I didn't do that after the race, I just left and just had to come back here, build down the bike, and now heading to Lati. Um, so the race itself, uh, I would say, was all right. Um, the main thing was to get experience from the course and the venue. Uh, I think on the re I haven't seen the footage yet from the swim and like how the group was going, but I guess I was too much towards the left on the return, and I thought I was thinking maybe that like it didn't really matter how if you were left side or right side of the group itself. But I, I guess I was sort of. Uh, slowing in a slower lane on the way back rather than forcing myself to the right. Uh, felt not too strong on the bike, a lot of spikes power wise out of the corners. Uh, not too good in the corners and the cobblestones, but it was, went fine. And the run was oh, like fine first two and a half K, but then I just was probably overrunning to try to stay with Alex or trying to keep up with Alex. and. Uh, Sort of had to settle in and never really found a good rhythm. Uh, so I was sort of running there with the elastic band, just about to get snapped, and uh, 60 seconds or so, 50 seconds in the end behind Alex. Alex, I think, but in reality, it's like 75 seconds, I guess, eight seconds. Uh, but also, I feel I have been in a better run shape before, and I do feel 
I have an idea of what needed to do over the next 11 months to get there. So, uh, of course, I guess the level has been a little bit faster since Tokyo, but I also think that I can become a little bit better than what I was two years ago. Um, yeah, quite quite pleased with the points now from uh, Singapore, and uh, uh, I think the whole season this year is all about getting ready for next year, both doing the the training, the volume, and getting the experience from short course, but also keeping the motivation high by racing the PTO Tour. Like it's a, uh, it's really exciting what the PTO is doing for the sport now and trying to really create this league. And uh, I just want to be a part of it as much as possible going in towards the, the Olympic Games. But I guess next year I have to be more selective in terms of probably turning down some of the races at least before the Olympics in order to get that leg speed I need to be able to fight against Hayden, Alex, Leo, the French team uh, the German is getting faster you know so uh, uh, I think yeah the reason why I'm racing this year is just because getting <laughs> having a lot of fun and at the same time getting the job done tonight and then be wide awake at 8 p.m. so uh, day one you have to ask how, how my legs feels how do the legs feel they feel good chop let's see it again good you ever seen you ever seen the famous studio in LA all the tiles above oh, like these ones you mean let me see I don't know like they had like this studio where you're like jumping and Oh, what do you mean? There's a famous studio in LA. It has. It looks like this. Really famous. Lots of movies. No. Yeah. Is it inspiring to train there? <laughs> it's a. Let's it's see. a record studio. Okay. You got three for two. Yep. Ah. Never seen. I've never seen this. It's a famous. Uh, Studio in LA. Jules will know what it is. We can do a photo shoot in here. Yeah. Coming soon to a theater near you. We are in Helsinki, just a little drive away from Lahti. And then we'll be finally there. After like two days of traveling.
Coming soon to a theater near you. Um, surprisingly, I've slept six hours, two hours, four hours the last three nights, and uh, I feel surprisingly good, all things considered, so, but, um, that's a horrible amount of sleep, so, hopefully I get some sleep tonight. The travel was good, as smooth as it could go. Um, got uh, two hours sleep on the plane, which, oh well. Um, Finland's been great. Really, really nice place. Really like it here. Beautiful. Great running trails nearby. Track, public track. Who, you ever, you ever heard of a public track? One that's not like locked with armored guards? Beautiful thing. And uh, course looks great. This is where we're at, where we're staying right downtown here is uh, lots of cool little restaurants. Just walk to the supermarket. It's great, really nice, uh, having a lot of fun. Would be nice to sleep. Hopefully tonight we'll get uh, eight hours sleep. But other than that, no complaints whatsoever. We're having fun. It's excited. race week. Yeah, I'm excited to race. Feel good, I feel a lot, I, feel, I definitely feel better than, than I did going into Milwaukee. Uh, if you can believe it, my shoulder is still a bit impinged from uh, my, like that hurts literally to do that. Oh, as if to throw a baseball <laughs> from throwing baseballs. Uh, don't ever, ever throw baseballs as hard as you can two days before a race you're focused on. Big mistake, unless you've played baseball before. Um, so yeah, I'm excited this will be uh, this will unfold a lot differently, I think, than Milwaukee. Milwaukee is tough, a tough, uh, tough, tough course, tough, tough competition for a weaker swimmer. And I know 70.3 Worlds is usually quite tough for a weaker swimmer too, but uh, I think I think we'll have a better shot at this one anyway.